So I am in my new location, which is my office. And if you follow dulcecounty.com, which is my blog, then you can see how I revamped my whole office because it was really dark and like a deep space blue. I actually have a swatch of the paint that I had the room in, but now it's this lovely purple. I got this card because I have white furniture and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with a really dark color. And I ended up going with the darkest from this palette, which is Deep Space. And it's not blue, it's not black. It's like this dark gray blue. And when I painted, or oh, actually when my husband painted the whole room, when it got dark, this room got black. And it looked really small. It just, the furniture didn't look right. And I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't what I wanted. So I repainted the whole room myself baby purple and I decided to film here today since it's a really nice kind of backdrop and the light is really hitting it's natural lighting I don't have to put my big studio lights and yeah so we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial and I'm getting ready today so that's why I'm still in my bathrobe and I just got out the shower so my hair is up and it's wet I did get a request to do um, a look using the new NARS eyeshadow that I got and this one is in Galapagos it's a really pretty sparkly brown and since I used it before and I was going to use it today then I decided to just kind of film it. So that's why I'm not like in a cute top or anything because I'm still in the process of getting ready and I didn't want to go and get ready and then film the intro because that's just going to take too much time. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it and keep a lookout for a office tour, office workspace tour. I just need a rug and like some wall decorations and stuff and then I'll film the and then I'll film the um the video. But until then, keep watching if you want to see how to create this look and don't forget to check out my fashion blog and yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. So, I already have my face makeup done and now we're going to move on to the primer and this one that I'm using is just the regular um, Urban Decay primer potion, but it's in the professional size. So it looks a little different and I'm just going to open it and I take some like on the tip of my fingers like that. I put this all over my eyelid and put on this one too. Now I'm taking this NYX um, eyeshadow pencil and this is in french fries. I've used it before and I really like it. It's kind of goldish, golden brown and this is going to go on the eyelid like that and then blend it out with your ring finger or you can use a synthetic end brush now for the star of the tutorial this is NARS um, Galapagos and it's an eyeshadow that looks like this is brown it's dark and it's very shimmery so you can either wet your brush to like just add to the intensity, but since I already did like the base in french fries, then I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take it, and this is a Sigma 239. I'm just going to take my brush. Actually, I'm going to use another one because this one looks dirty. Yeah, this is the Sigma um, E55. And I'm just going to pat it down here like that. And you want to start by patting it down. So, before you do this, I forgot to do the crease color, and this one is just a blending brush. I'm taking my 88 Warm Palette from Coastal Scents, and we're going to find a very soft, either peachy or very, very soft brown. So, I am going to use this one right here, right at the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to take it. And this one is going to go on the crease. And I'm doing this because we're doing the dark brown all over the lid, so you want to have like a soft brown as um, to give us some shading on the brow bone. So just put that and blend that inwards like that. Pat it down. Sorry for the noise. I have the door open, the window open, because it's so hot up here. Anyways, now I'm taking a blending brush, and this one is a 222, and this one you just want to take 
very lightly drag it, make sure it's clean, and just drag the outer color. So just drag it on the edge like that softly because you don't want it to over smoke your eye. You want it to be wearable. I'm just going to take a fan brush and sweep any fallouts that might have fallen. What I'm going to do next is take a highlight. So grab a clean brush. Let me grab a clean one. Alright, so I'm taking the Coastal Sense palette and just find any highlight that's flattery into your skin tone. So for me, I'm going to go with this one here, which is kind of like a pinkish. I'm sorry, not pinkish. Nude. Peaches. Peaches. And that's going to go right underneath the brow bone. You can bring it all the way across like I like to do it. Alright, so now that we are done with that part, we're going to move on to eyeliner. And for that, I am going to be using um, this L'Oreal Intense Linear Black Eyeliner Liquid. And then this one is the um, Infallible 16 Hour Long Wear Crayon. And this one I'm going to add to my bottom lash. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Brunette Brow Powder Duo. It looks like that. And I'm taking my Anastasia Number no. 7 brush, which is just the angle tip with the little spool on the other side. And I'm just going to take the light brown because I don't want to be I don't want it to be so dark. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Once you have that, I am going to do lashes. So I'm taking Miss Adora number 138, and um, these are pretty full. I really like these. I'm just going to take the duo eyelash adhesive and set it and just put it on top so it can get tacky. Okay, so now I'm taking this um, full spectrum mascara by Hourglass. My bottom lashes, I really like it because. I could really get in here and I got this um, mascara when I went to the Beautylish event. It was in a goodie bag. They gave us a lot of good stuff. I'm just going to let the glue dry clear and while that happens, we're going to take um, this lip pencil and a lot of you have been asking me what's been on my lips for the past couple of days. Well, this is NYX Dolly Pink and it's just a lip liner. And I fill in my lips with this. One, I like it because it stays on my lips almost, almost all day. Not all day. I have to, I have to reapply um, the gloss, but pretty much the lip pencil stays on my lips all day. So I outline them, fill them in, just like that. And then we're going to take NARS um, Turkish Delight. And we're going to add this right on top. And we're going to take the liquid eyeliner and just go back on top to cover up the glue. I'm using Narciss, Narciss, Nars um, Irresistible Mint, which looks like that. And it's just a really pretty peachy glow, bronzy, if that makes any sense. Um, bronzer and then I'm going to take NARS by Laguna and Laguna NARS Illuminator and I'm just going to shake it up first. I'm just going to take some and add it to the cheekbones like that. So we are pretty much done. So here's the close up of the eye. Looks really pretty and it's very wearable for the daytime because you didn't smoke it out with the dark brown you smoked it out with the very soft brown so that's pretty much it I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial and I will talk to you guys later bye